I've learned the hard way. He does not look like he's in well. interview too. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Fair enough. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup, so it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. You went to Baron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. All right. One answer beats everything. Bad cop is always the an answer. So you guy. tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. I caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. Okay. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. We already have, but... He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. Where did you go after the Crystal Ballroom? Well, I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab, and I caught a bus back to the base. Should be the other way around. We spoke to the cab driver. Tell us what really happened at the Crystal Ballroom. I'd had enough. She was all upset about her husband bawling about her kids. She, she looked old. I left around closing, maybe 1.30. I got on a bus, and she fell asleep on my shoulder. Which bus? An all-American, 249. How do you remember that? Went past that? her place. She jumped off, and I stayed on it downtown. After that, I caught another bus to San Pedro. The Indiana's down there. She's being scrapped. And that was the last you saw of Teresa? Yeah, that's right. We didn't say much. I think she was kind of embarrassed. I, would, I don't blame her. The cab driver said that you were getting pretty familiar with Teresa. That's not how I'd put it. Uh, talk to me. So the last thing you wanted was her playing hard to get. Did that make you mad, sailor? Yeah, it did. She knew what a guy's looking for, all broads do. Dancing comes second. And what happened at the Crystal Ballroom? Nothing. Not even a little hand relief. Oh. She had another couple of drinks. There was no fun left in her. Just poured her guts out to some bartender. Wait. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. We got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Brand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. I don't think we're done what yet. Now? Drive all the way to San Pedro and check his locker? Let's see if the bus story checks out. There's a depot at 1660 Beverly Boulevard. Let's go to the bus depot then. And apparently I missed a clue too. Which makes me sad. Three suspects in the can and one on the hook. And still no hard evidence on any of them. KGPL to car 11K. 11K, come in. What? 11K, go ahead. Eleven K, Roger that. Only have time to get downtown, Cole. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, we have Lars Carrollson picked up. Eleven K, Roger. Shit. Hold on, we have Lars, the degenerate, and now the sailor are all hold up. Where's the fourth one at? Oh yeah, the hobo. There's no really good answer.
Oh great, it's the bus depots. Looks relatively nice. And thank you, ma'am. You have a safe trip you now. Too. Oh. Where are you boys headed today? LAPD. We're after the driver of All American 249. Would have been around midnight onwards last night. Uh, just a minute. Frank Zeffirelli. He's your man. Where can we find him? Frank is out on the 7 4. Can you tell us the route? Hang on. Uh, I'm. Should have it mapped out here somewhere. Was easy enough. Dang it. I'll need to run the loop. I don't want to run the loop. Uh, we're not going to drive the whole thing, are we? Won't take long. We have a siren. Uh, that's my logic. You can't use my logic. You can drive. Oh, I have to so drive. Where exactly are we Dang. going? All right. All American seven four. Let's go get it. All right. We're gonna do a circle now. Room for a bus. Uh, this could be a long trip, Cole. Or it could be a short one. And here's me without my hip flask and only a pain in the ass for company. Way to kick off the drive in high spirits, Rusty. Comments like that put me in just the right mood for some legwork. Touchy. You know what your problem is? You don't like hard work. This kind of rigorous search is what police work is all about. Discipline. Baby, you're just as bored as I am. So we are literally driving a bus for Get out of my way. We can't afford to do more damage. Granted, we have plenty of blue after like more like two or three. There's a couple thousand, so they said, "Don't be afraid. Don't do anything too stupid." I'm looking for a bus. How hard is it to find a bus? Here's the guys. So. I've actually never done this part. Nope, still no sign of him. Did you doze off, Rusty? I think you slept through my solving the case. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You just give me a nudge if you see him, all right? Uh, How about you nudge me? I think that's a job for your wife. Oh. Oh, Rusty. That was, that was actually clever. I have a feeling I trip. What's wrong with driving? I have a feeling it's probably going clockwise. I went to the. Crap. Well, what about weaknesses is figuring out which way is which or the clock? Or some stupid. There it is. Could we try not killing the oh, people freak. to pay our salary? Okay. That may have been bad. How long is this bus route? It actually covers an area around the size of Central Division. The probability is we'll find it about halfway around. Bad luck says we'll be chasing it all night. Yeah. I hope I didn't just script the whole case while bring it in Yeah. Alright, when I find the bus, I'll let you Not even a minute later I found it. <laughs> That's always what I was when I do pauses or something like that. That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. 
That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. Is there some kind of problem, buddy? LAPD, we're investigating a murder. You had a sailor and a woman in a green dress on your bus late last night? That's correct. And the woman got off first, around 2 a.m.? Yeah, that's right. And the sailor stayed on all the way to downtown. Can you tell us where you let the woman off? On California Street. To tell you the truth, she looked a little lost, like she got off on the wrong stop or something. I didn't like dropping her off near that hobo camp. Wait, what? You've been a big help, Mr. Zeffirelli. So Stanley boy escaped by the seat of his bell well, bottom trousers. It's Tom. Left brought alive. Let's left her by the hobo, hobo camp. camp. Which means he's as good as killed her. We can't eliminate any of them, but the disfigured man should be our starting point. I'm gonna call for some backup. These bows hate cops. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Now, well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. All right. So this is actually a reason why I kind of gave it away. LAPD, we'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. We need you to stay copacetic. We need to hold out for the cavalry. How do we do that? Right there. Fuck oh. off. Keep you down, fellas. If you want your right Your disciples share, know what you did last night. We need to fight for it. Oh. Dang. This guy's one of the toughest fist fights possible, so just keep hitting him. What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Probably not. Doesn't mean... We can't. Alright, let's go to your house. Your shanty town. Hey, look at this. Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Toss it. See what you find. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. He's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them, that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts, and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained, Jack. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. 
Jack Kelso, everybody. If you haven't figured that out yet. You know, the guy that Phelps always dreamed in the flashbacks. What? Looks familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrelson's chin. Well, I guess he actually did it. Circumstantial. That's kind of cool, though. Find his war, pic war picture. TT. Blood. Crystal ball room ticket. Hmm. Ackerman doesn't look like much of a dancer. We found her, man. Quest can Where's the exit at? I'm right. Oh, I wish. Uh oh. Sorry for disturbing your shanty town. I didn't do it on purpose. Rusty did it. That's a story. You can't do this! Alright. Let's see how you know bad that screwed this drive. up. I don't want to do it a third right. time. Where are we headed? Actually, it'll be a fourth time. This is the third time. Hmm. The husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession, and we can charge the bum with murder. Yeah. Shouldn't be that hard, right? All right. Let's go talk to our friend. We're going this way. If you want. How do you know this already, Rusty? I should know I know this. Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Actually, a little bit. Why did you kill Mrs. Terrelson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. You have two options, but of course... Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. Mm, your hair does not look good at all. But we did find this thing. We found a matching piece of rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? Because he has some mental issues. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. And I please where I go. But no. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed. But I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. Where were you around 2 a.m. last night? At the camp. No. You were up on the hill. You were seen during the day. We have a witness. We have evidence. Come clean with me, Ackerman, and I'll see what I can do for you. I despise your pity. You have nothing that links me to this woman. Besides the purse we found in your... your shack? We have you cold, Ackerman. Her purse and the ballroom ticket were in your lean-to. Tell us why you did it. I kill because people need killing. It's what I was trained to do. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. I mean, it's the only guy that makes sense at this point.
A man down on his luck, I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor three to Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And the grand results you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. Thank you. Please, game. I know I hit that person. I didn't mean to. Oh, thank fucking God. Oh. All right. Next time on this game. We're gonna go do the next t case finally. I'm happy. I'll see you next time.